my squidlings, it's Katie here and welcome back to another review demo video. So today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys the Holbein Artist Oil Colors, the Quick Dry Medium, the Linseed Purify Oil, and this is the random brochure that I have with it. Now I'm going to go ahead and say the last time I tried Holbein Oil Paints I was super super impressed. It was the um, Holbein Duo Aqua Oils and I will leave a card pop up up here if you want to check it out. Uh, so, now let's get into talking about this stuff. I'm really excited. Now this is not water soluble oils, this is regular traditional oil paint. So first thing we have are the oils and here they are. This is what the box looks like. There are four tubes in here and I believe they are all 20 milliliters. So let's pop the lid off of here and as you can see here are the tubes of paint. So we have Crimson Lake Permanent Yellow Light cobalt blue hue and permanent white and I'm gonna go ahead and get the crimson out so we can take a little bit of a better look at it so this is what it looks like it has the letters SF over here and I'm pretty sure that they mean super fine I could be wrong about that um, and it is 20 milliliters and basically everything else is in Japanese so that's what I'll be using the brochure for so I can you know get some more info on these then we have the quick drying medium and it is from their series I this is for oil painting only do not use this with the Holbein Duo Aqua because it might be a good thing um, and then basically everything else is in Japanese except for the warning which here it is if you want to pause and read it. And then we have the Linseed Purified Oil. It is also only for oil painting. Do not use this with the Duo Aquas. And the rest of it's in Japanese. First impressions on this, as you can see, it's a little yellowy in here and it's quite liquidous, which is fine. Then the quick drying medium is very liquidy. It almost looks like water, but it's you can it's tinted a little bit, but it is mostly clear. This is what I wanted to tell you guys about. First off, I want to read to you about the um, linseed oil purified. It says that it's extracted from the flax plant, used for thinning oil color, and thus imparts a natural luster to a painting. As vegetable-based oil, it leaves a slight residue of solid oil when dry. This sometimes causes yellowing over time. Available in 55, 200, and 500 milliliters. And then they have the quick drying medium, a non-yellowing mixture of stand oil, resin, and refined petroleum oil. When mixed with oil color, it will accelerate drying time and harden the painting surface. As a glaze, it will provide a glossy surface which deepens the color. Clean the rim of the jar to avoid adhesion, available in 55 and 200 milliliters. And then here is all of the different colors that they make in this line of paints. Then it says there are 145 open stock colors in 40 or 20 milliliter tubes, 11 transparent glazing colors in 20 milliliter tubes, 4 foundation colors in 110 milliliter tubes, and 7 whites in 50, 110, 170, and 330 milliliter sizes, all ground to a uniform viscosity. So the first impressions are really nice. I absolutely love their packaging. These cute little glass jars and, you know, this nice packaging of the tubes you know I don't have to worry about wasting any paint because even though these are sample sizes they're in a little container so I don't have to waste it yay and I'm really happy they sent me a brochure so I can read up on it and stuff so now let's get into the swatches I'm not going to be swatching it over black just because I don't really want to wait for paint to dry but I will be talking to you about the different permanency ratings and the opacities of all of these and I'm going to be using these in the swatches as well because I can't guarantee I'm going to use both of these in the painting I will probably use the quick drying medium in the final illustration, but I may not use the linseed oil, so in the swatches I will be using both of these. So let's head over to the swatches and I hope to see you over there. Alrighty, so as you can see I am going ahead and doing the swatches first and I started out with Crimson Lake and I have to say all of these colors are really clean. They look extremely vibrant on the paper, which is a definite bonus. I love my paints look clean. I don't know how to explain it. They just look really clear and they look like they haven't been like mixed with any other kinds of pigments. They look pure is what I'm trying to say. And so you will see that I am first doing a swatch of just the paint itself and then the middle swatch is with the quick dry medium and then the third swatch is with the linseed oil and the linseed oil it um, thins it down a lot so it's kind of like 
to me anyway, the equivalent of like adding water to your acrylic paints or to your watercolors. Like the more you add, the more watered down it gets. Um, now, the quick dry medium is of course quick drying, but it also does kind of thin your paint down a little bit, which isn't bad. You don't lose any kind of color or anything, um, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And um, I've noticed, uh, unlike other oils, these don't smell as as bad. Like some oils have a very pungent odor, and then their mediums are just as bad. Um, the oils along with their mediums weren't as bad. I didn't find myself like getting a headache immediately or whatever. Actually, I didn't get a headache at all. It still does have a smell. I mean, I'm not gonna lie and say, oh, it smells like roses because it doesn't but it's not as bad as some of the oils and some of the solvents that I have used. Alright, and I also went ahead and mixed these colors. I just mixed the basic green, purple, and orange. And actually my purple, I added a little bit too much blue and I didn't feel like going back with the red, but it makes a nice purple. You get a nice orange and you get a nice green. The blue and the red, or the crimson, are very strong, so if you are mixing any of those colors and you decide to get these, Keep in mind that they're strong, so you want to add a little bit less because your yellow is not near as strong. Also, if you want to purchase these, I will leave a link down in the description below to where you can do so, as well as a link to Holbein's website to where you can check them out because they are super awesome. Now, let's head over to the illustration! Yay! Okie dokie, so I want to go ahead and tell you guys that I honestly didn't spend too much time on this painting. Uh, I procrastinated. I need to stop procrastinating with these pa picture things for the reviews because, yeah, it's just things happen during the week and stuff, and yeah, actually, I have no excuses. But anyway, uh, I painted a deer with like little lanterns and its antlers, and it turned out okay. Um, it's not my favorite piece or whatever. Uh, anyway though, I want to go ahead and tell you guys that I used the quick dry medium with this and it dried within a couple hours and I was really impressed. Um, I, th I thought it would at least take around a day or more than a couple hours. I was very, very impressed with that. So they say that they have the purest of pigments. Uh, they use the purest of available pigments and is manufactured to the highest standard of quality control in the industry. Rarely will you find oil separating from the top of the tube or at the crimp. And the nice thing is, along with that, I never, like, I didn't have that problem. Along with that, though, they filled it up so much with so much paint. Like, I don't know if you've ever gotten, like, a paint tube and it isn't filled very much and you feel like you got gypped. Well, these are filled so much it's almost too much and it's great. Um, they manufacture uh, with optimum quality in the preparation, mixing, grinding, adjustment, and filling stages. So, you know, everything is super high quality. And then they come in sets of 32, 20, 12, they come in two different sets of 12, 18, 24, 50, and 100. So they have a bunch of different sets, um, the milliliters kind of vary between them. I found these to be some of the highest quality paints I've used ever in my whole life, and um, I want to rate these a 10 out of 10, because I feel like I've used enough oil paints to confidently say that these are 10 out of 10 because these are fantastic, they're super pure looking, they mix super cleanly, they don't smell as bad as most paints, like oil paints. You get a lot, you get a lot of bang for your buck, and they go a long, long way, so you don't have to worry about using a ton of paint to paint this little tiny, small portion. A little bit goes a heck of a long way. So if you're interested, like I said earlier, I will leave a link in the description so you can go check them out. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that it was informative for you guys. If it was, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think of oil paints, like of these particular oil paints. I know the picture wasn't that great, I'm sorry. Did not do these paints justice at all. Um, so anyway, if you haven't already, I would love for you to join our cute little squid pod, uh, so you don't miss out on any, you know, future videos that I upload. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!